Hey guys, it's Heather from Kelva Plan, and today I'm going to be showing you how I personally set up these two pages in my Kelva Plan planner. Our Kelva Plan planners release on Friday, August 30th at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. So for the next couple of days, we're just going to be showing you different videos on how you can use the different pages that are in this planner to plan for 2025. So the, I call these our important date pages. We have them in all three versions of our planner. So this is the Brilliant Blooms important dates. Um, this is the 2025 seasonal important date pages. And then this is the Fierce Plans important date pages. So these are pages that are in all three plan planners. And I'm just gonna be showing you how to set it up here in the Brilliant Blooms. So what I've done is I've chosen four colors. You'll need however many colors um, for your different categories that you're gonna be setting up, depending on how you're setting up. I'm having four. This is like a bright pink. I don't want this to be that bright of a pink. Let me see if this is really that bright. Mm. Let me switch to a different shade of pink. <laughs> That was a little too bright. This one is probably better. All right, so I'm gonna do pink. And then I'm going to do this. This is supposed to be a peachy color, but it's kind of like a neon peach. And then this like turquoise. And then this blue. All right. And then I'm going to, I'm like making a little key up here. And I'm going to label my key. So my pink one is going to be birthdays. My, my bright orange one is going to be school. I know you goes to school two days a week. Um, this one is going to be holidays. And this one is going to be trips slash events, which I don't think we've planned any trips or events yet for 2025. So now that I have that, I'm going to open this up like so. And I'm going to start, let's we'll start with birthdays. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to highlight birthdays. So Maddie's birthday is the 31st. My grandmother's birthday is the 5th. My stepmother's birthday is the 17th. In March, Matthew's birthday is the 10th. <coughs> Excuse me. Amelia's is the 6th. In May, the 3rd is my papa's. The 23rd is my father-in-law's. In June, I don't think we have anybody's birthday. In July, we have a lot. The 7th is my cousin. The 8th is me. The 9th is my sister-in-law. The 30th is my niece. And that's just family. If I went in and highlighted friends too, it would take up a ton. Right now I'm just doing family. August the 14th is my dad. And my grandmother-in-law's is one of these days, but I'm not sure which one I need to find out. September 17th is my brother. October 1st is Laura Claire. October 8th is my mother-in-law. October 19th is my nephew. November 11th is my other nephew. Nope, nope, his is the 10th. Whoops. The 15th was my mom's. My brother-in-law's is the 22nd. My other brother-in-law's is the 27th. And then in December, my sister-in-law. And then my brother and Zeke share a birthday. All right, so then what I do, once I have that filled in, is I like to use this page to show what these things are over here that I highlighted. So, and I even like to highlight them over here. So Maddie's birthday in January is the 31st. I know that's gonna be the last thing because it's the last day. So I'm gonna purposely put it at the bottom. I'm gonna highlight the color. I'm gonna write 31 and I'm gonna write Maddie. Because then I know that that is Maddie's birthday. Here, my grandmother, my stepmother. So here I'm gonna put the fifth, 
and the 17th. And then I can write Momo and Ashley. In March, the 10th is Matthew. In April, the 6th is Amelia. In May, we've got my papa, and then my father-in-law is going to be a little bit further down. In June, we don't have anybody. So then I'm going to go 10, Matthew, 6, Amelia, 3rd, Papa, 23rd, Scott. And then July, I'm going to go... We have several, 7, 8, 9, and 30th. So 7, 8, 9, 30th. And I'm purposely trying to leave gaps in between so that I can put other things like holidays, trips, things like that. August, the 14th is my dad. And then my grandmother-in-law is like the 23rd or the 25th, but I don't remember exactly which one, so I'm just going to leave the date blank, but I'm going to go ahead and write her name in there. September 17th is Chase. October, we got the 1st, 8th, 19th. November, we've got the 11th, 15th, 22nd, and 27th. December, we've got the 26th. And 29th. All right, so here we're going to go 17, Chase, October 1st, Laura Claire, October 8th, Tamara, October 19th, Carter, October 10th, Blake, October 15th, my mom, October 22nd, Josh, October 27th, Zach, 26th, Allison, 29th, Zeke, and Kevin. And this is just my family's birthdays. I could fill this probably whole page in with all my friends and stuff, but I'd try to stick to just a family for these two pages. So then the next thing is I could do school. I don't have my school calendar in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to holidays. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do this one, this one, this one. And the 17th is probably President's Day, isn't it? So I'm just going to put the color to the side of that. March. <coughs> I don't think. Oh, well, I guess St. Patrick's Day is like what the... 16th or 17th um mother's day is going to be here father's day is going to be here um i'm not sure when easter is off the top of my head this year i think it's the 20th but i would need to look it up july 4th juneteenth um this is going to be labor day this is going to be halloween Zach's birthday is also Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, Christmas, and New Year's Eve. All right, and then I'm going to have to figure out when Easter is. I don't know off the top of my I know it's in April. I'm pretty sure it's the 20th, um, but I want to be sure before I write that down. And then I'm also going to highlight the March 7th because that's our anniversary. So that's a holiday in our house. Um, so then over here, I can come over here and I can put the 1st, the 20th the 17th, the 7th, the 18th, 15th, 19th, 4th, 1st, 31st, 27th, Christmas and Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. And then I can come over here and I would put one New Year's Day, 20th, MLK Jr., 17th, 
President's Day. Seventh is our anniversary. May 18th. Mother's Day, May 15th, or June 15th. Father's Day, 19th is Juneteenth. Fourth is the 4th of July. First is Labor Day. 31st is Halloween. 27th is Thanksgiving. 24th, 25th, 31st, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve. So then I could come in here and highlight school stuff next. And then once we start planning trips and events, I can, I don't think we have any planned for next year yet. I can start highlighting those. And I just love having it highlighted here so that I can like see what our month consists of. But then I love having this page to break it down. So I just love these two pages. I think they're like perfect for any planner. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys how I would set these up. So if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you wanna see more of this type of video, hit that subscribe button and set those alarms for these planners, which release on August 30th at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. Happy planning.